my friends welcome back to my channel handmade of god and my name is sarah and in today's video we are continuing with day 14 of our retreat 33 days to morning glory today will be the very last day of saint maximilian colby as we are in day 14 and from tomorrow we are starting saint mother Teresa. so let's start today's retreat colby's prayer of consecration to conclude this week's reflections on St. Maximilian's teachings on Marian consecration, it will be good for us to get to know his actual prayer of consecration. We will now look at it in three parts. An invocation, a plea to Mary that she will receive us as her property and a plea to Mary that she will use us to gain other souls for her. The prayer begins with an invocation. O Immaculata, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners and our Most Loving Mother, God has willed to entrust the entire order of mercy to you. Here we have Colby's favorite title for Mary, the Immaculata. As we learn from her apparition at Lourdes, this is her identity. For Colby, this is her most important identity because it highlights her intimate union with the Holy Spirit. This invocation also brings in another part of Mary's identity, mother. Mary is the most humble, gentle, tender and loving mother. Finally, another of Colby's favorite titles is alluded to here, namely, Mediatrix of All Grace. For to Mary, God has willed to entrust the entire order of mercy. The second part of the consecration prayer expresses a plea that Mary will receive us as her property. I, Sarah, a repentant sinner, cast myself at your feet, humbly imploring you to take me with all that I am and have wholly to yourself as your possession and property. Please make of me, of all my powers of soul and body, of my whole life, death and eternity, whatever most pleases you. Recall that de Montfort, in his formula of consecration, expanded and elaborated on what he was giving to Mary, body, soul, goods, merits, etc. Colby means the same thing as de Montfort, but he simplifies it by expressing his gift of himself to Mary with a conscious statement. Take me with all that I am and have. On the flip side, where de Montfort describes the purpose of his consecration with a simple summary statement for the greater glory of God. It's Colby who expands and elaborates. Thus, in the third part of his consecration prayer, Colby describes the purpose of his offering not simply as the greater glory of God, but as the following. If it pleases you, use all that I am and have without reserve, wholly to accomplish what was said of you. She will crush your head and you alone have destroyed all hers in the whole world. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and merciful hands for introducing and increasing your glory to the maximum in all the many strayed and indifferent souls and thus help extend as far as possible the blessed kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus. For wherever you enter, you obtain the grace of conversion and growth in holiness. Since it is through your hands that all graces come to us from the most sacred heart of Jesus. The boldness of the first sentence may easily be overlooked, but when we fully take it in, its boldness can be startling. Colby is asking Mary to use him to completely crush the reign of Satan. Perhaps he pulls back this incredible ambition when he says that he wants her to use him to help extend as far as possible the blessed kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Still his boldness is incredible. He wants Mary to use him as her instrument as much as possible to crush Satan and extend the kingdom of God, the kingdom of the love of the sacred, love of the sacred heart of Jesus. It's interesting that Colby homes in on the heart of Jesus, mentioning it two times. This isn't a passing fancy. For instance, it appears again when he gives the motto of his army of knights of the Immaculate, the Militia Immaculata, to lead all men and every individual through Mary to the most sacred heart of Jesus. We learn more about the heart of Jesus as the most perfect goal for our spiritual lives when we reflect on Saint Mother Teresa as her teachings next week. Today's prayer, come Holy Spirit living in Mary, prepare me to give all to the Immaculata for the sake of his kingdom. 
so today is day 14 the very last day with uh, saint maximilian colby and uh, he concludes this week with his um uh, the different three prayers that he has uh, for his Marian consecration uh, that is uh, an invocation a plea to Mary that she will receive um, as as her property and a plea to Mary that she will use us to gain other souls so these are the three prayers that he does um, and then he says that he wants Mary to use him as her instrument like we read yesterday as much as possible to crush the Satan um, uh, tomorrow we will be doing we will be in week three uh, it's already we're starting the third week of our retreat and we will be starting with saint mother Teresa. um and so uh, uh saint colby he has uh, given us a beautiful conclusion for this week with day 15 which is uh, saint mother Teresa. we'll be going in deep uh, in depth about uh, the sacred heart of jesus in the name of the father and to the son and to the holy spirit amen Thank you, dear my friends, uh, for continuing with me in this retreat. Uh, and I will catch you all tomorrow in day 15. Until then, take care, my friends. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.